So, it is currently like almost 7 o'clock and I wasn't planning on going anywhere. Neither was this guy right over here. I cut my finger and I'm still bleeding. So, and I need different bandage, bandages because these don't really work very well. It makes it hard for me to move my finger. Hold on, hold on. Are you so, making that a roundabout way to call Mississippi State suckish? No, I'm talking about their band-aid suck. This you wouldn't even know you're down here. That's a radical driver. <laughs> Go-car people need to get their licenses checked. I thought the bulldog was something with Georgia too. It's something with Georgia too because my friend lives in Georgia and she uh Why in God's name Georgia have bulldogs? I don't know, the Georgia Bulldogs. The thing. Really? Yeah, Georgia has bulldogs. Anyway, one of their colleges, I think, or one of their There's schools. A lot of Seats at bulldogs. It's not that hard. It's, it's it's not a common dog, but it's still not that rare of a dog. But what I'm saying is these bandages, they don't have enough bend for me. But yeah, so I cut my finger open on a potato peeler and it was bleeding pretty bad. I might insert pictures actually of my of my injury. Oh, it was still bleeding pretty bad. It's still bleeding kind of bad because I have a I have, uh, I've been like bleeding through, I know you can't really see it, but I'm bleeding through the pad of the band-aid. Well, my mom said to probably get gauze and tape instead, since of where like the weird angle it is. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Do you feel lightheaded, dizzy? No. I feel nauseous, but not so. Um, okay, that's that, that's one of the first starting symptoms. Alright, um, how many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> You're holding up two. You sure? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Technically it was three. Really? I didn't see your thumb. Sorry. Because I wasn't holding my thumb up. See, now you're being delusional. <laughs> Ow! She flicked me! No, I didn't hit you. No, 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 that felt like a flick to no. my ear. Ow, you did it again! <laughs> no, I hate you. Quit it! I don't care what it is! I hit you with the tips of my finger. Oh, so just like a flick. Kinda. Anyway, so we're almost at Walgreens, and yeah. Oh, God! Revenge. So sweet. Okay, so I'll be back probably. Hey, cart, cart, cart. There's a crash to the car. Don't hit it. Alright, well, I'll be back, guys. So, got my finger fixed, kind of, sort of. This will do for now. I gotta take a shower. I gotta take a shower, anyways, so I might as well just leave it like this. And then after my shower, we can, like, fix it. Anyway, he's so sweet. He helped me out. I have food waiting at the house. Just make me go cold. We don't know if it's done. Baby, the burgers were done. Oh, um, we were just they waiting on them. They needed to be flipped and they were good. Oh, we were waiting and on them. They were in the last three. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm being an inconvenience right now. Yes, you are. Stop injuring yourself. I'm going to throw you in a bubble. By the way, this stuff really hurts. It yes, burns. yes, it does. Surprisingly, though, she kept it PG. I did. I was very proud Good of chat. I was very proud of myself. I did not like yell and scream too much, but it really hurt. I was expecting her to accidentally spray it into her eyes. I have glasses on. Anyway, I plan to That's why I wasn't that worried. Maybe put pictures somewhere in here. Probably at the end because I'm gonna do this all in iMovie. Um of my beautiful finger. Uh, but I'll put warnings before it because I know some people have uh, blood sugars and stuff. So I didn't actually show anything. I guess. So I guess after my shower I will fix my finger up better. I have to keep an eye on it and make sure I don't bleed to death through my finger. It actually stopped bleeding for the most part. Sad thing is though, I don't think I'd be able to really tell if you were bleeding to death if I didn't like actually see all the blood coming out of you. Because usually you're just spontaneously dizzy or out of it, dazed and sorry. Laying. But yes. So, I'm a little worried now. 
I sure hope none of our kids get up. What's that word where you can't control? Hemophilia? Yeah, I sure hope none of them. I think control. that's what it's called. Yeah, Hemophiliac. It is. It is. If only they, they didn't kill the rest of you. Have someone who would be able to, you know, cure it. Control it. Wait, what? Do you know who Rasputin is? Yeah. Okay. Do you know how he got important with the royal family? No. I didn't really know he was really that important. Like, I knew, like, he died, and then, uh, the, and when er, Anastasia came out, like, they had a Rasputin toy, he, like, did something weird. He, like, he, he dismembered, and people got really mad about it. I'm not worried about a lesson. You can give me this lesson later. Uh, well, no, because, okay. The prince, the, their youngest child, was a hemophiliac the, of the royal family in Russia. And they tried all these doctors that couldn't do it. Well, Rasputin showed up, and even though he was dirty, disgusting, and all that, he actually managed to stop the prince's bleeding. But he made sure that no one could be around when he did, so no one knows how he stopped the bleeding. But he was able to stop the boy's bleeding. Oh, okay. So I'm saying, so if they hadn't killed him, then we probably might know how to stop him. They may know now, but... No, no, well, kinda. You, they have to give you blood clotting agents. Yeah, well, I highly doubt that Rasputin had that. Probably not. It's something else, but I'm just saying, they, you have to... It took him being poisoned, like, five times the amount of cyanide it takes to kill us, shot, stabbed, and then drowned eventually to die. Who, Rasputin? Yeah. That's how well unliked he was. I thought he, like, had some other death. Because they were really angry about the toy that was being sold at the time with um, Anastasia's, what it came out with, I think that was Rasputin. Is it Rasputin? I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, Pretty sure I'm bleeding to death. Yes and no. Um, the royal family was taken and when the Bolshevik Revolution happened, they were taken to a holiday home and pretty much were put under house arrest. Eventually they tried to make an escape. The day they tried to make an escape, they stuffed all their dresses and petticoats and stuff um, with their jewels and diamonds. Mm -hmm. And um, as they lined up to take a picture, a uh, firing squad fired upon them and killed them all. The rumor is Anastasia escaped though, but that's not true. Yeah, Anastasia never escaped. Anastasia died. I know that. And Except for in the Disney movie, she escaped and had a and beautiful life. And that's how the rumor of Anastasia living is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, because I'm back. We're back home. I hope you guys enjoyed that lesson. Hey guys. So it is the next day, and this is how I have my finger bandage. I had I had to cut the gauze. Basically, almost in like one eighth, I guess. Because one gauze is too big, half a gauze is too big, and I cut it again, and then so maybe one fourth. Yeah, no, it'd be one eighth out of the total gaw. But anyway, um, after this clip is over, which I'll give fair warning before I'm done with this clip, uh, after this clip is over, I will be inserting pictures of what my finger looked like before and after, because I gotta also have to change my bandage really soon, since I've slept in this all night and I need to get a new one, put more nail sporin on it, try to help the healing process and also spray some saline solution on it to get it all nice no longer gross feeling I had to wash my finger last night because there's blood there's ex like leftover blood excess blood on it from me bleeding but and you see the pictures it's gonna look like a lot like in the picture just a lot of blood I did bleed pretty heavily and I don't bleed pretty I don't bleed like tons normally um but I did bleed pretty heavy from my finger but you have to remember the fingers and the face bleed and your I think your hand too but I know like your fingers because there's so many little arteries and blood vessels in your uh, finger so you bleed more through your finger than you do normally so, then, like, if you would cut your arm or something. And there's also, like, an extra layer in your hands. And so, when you say hands, I'm assuming it's not just your palm. It's also up here. It's called the horny layer. And you also have it in your foot. Damn. I'm trying to think back on it and peanuts. Like, the layers were always the hardest for me. 
But anyway, so I'm going to have to um, change out my bandage and stuff since I slept in this last night and I need to air it out a little bit before I do anything else though. But I don't want like my skin to like rip off because it's really bruised and you won't be able to see that in the picture. But I may show you my finger on video, I don't know. It would be after the pictures, so you guys can see what it looks like today. But anyway, now I'm going to put in the warning. I am going to be showing my pictures of my finger. There is blood, so if you have blood sugars, please click away now. So I'm going to kind of do an ending right here, but it's not completely over. There will be pictures after this um, of my finger um, when I cut it and during different processes of like cleaning it. And then there's going to be a picture of the band-aid that it was in and you can see how much I bled on the band-aid. Like I was bleeding through the pad at the very front of it because it was just picking it up. It wasn't picking the whole thing up. Like, all of it was not picking blood up. It was just that little area that my finger was in. And so it was bleeding so much, I guess, still, that it bled through to a little bit. Like, it bled through all the little layers of it. So, um, yes. So, please, if you have a blood, um, if you have issues with blood, please, I beg you, um, please click off my video. I do not want anybody to have issues with blood triggers. And freaking out and having panic attacks because I know how much panic attacks suck so um if you guys are going to click off uh, I'm going to say if you did like the little bit of this video um, please like and leave me a comment just talking to me tell me if you guys have ever done anything like this have you ever cut your finger on a potato pillar or ever just cut your finger in general while cooking um, and please subscribe, I'm doing, I'm not doing daily vlogs, but I'm getting, I'm doing almost daily vlogs. And I'll try to, I'm going, oh, I can't even talk. And whenever school starts back up, I'm going to be doing vlogs Monday through Thursday. Or I'm going to try, at least. And it may not even be vlog settings, it may just be car vlogs, where I'm just talking to you guys while I'm in the car. About the day's events. Because I'm going to be doing stuff with, um x-rays and so I don't think I can have my phone around all that so I will say bye to you guys who are going to click off because you have something you're squeamish or you have blood triggers and now I will get into the pictures now <laughs> through the pictures of my finger which really weren't that bad I don't think I ended up changing it I did tape it but I'm not putting it in I deleted it because I didn't like it but anyway so if you were able to sit through them looking at my cut up finger and the little flap of skin gone um I want to say thank you um anyway I know there are wounds way worse than what I have. Like, this is nothing. It, I mean, it hurts, yes, but it's going to hurt. You, I cut my skin off. I cut part of my skin off. And there's just a flap of skin there. So, I mean, yeah, it's going to hurt. And things like this happen all the time. I'm nothing special when it comes to getting injured. But I just thought you guys would enjoy seeing it. Sharing my life. Sharing is caring, guys. Just remember that. Anyway, so I really do hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I mean, it was it's going to be a very short vlog. I mean, it was just that little bit of me going to the store and then from a little bit from today. I don't think I'm going to vlog anything today. I don't know yet. I don't have any plans for today. So anyway, be safe. Well, using kitchen, kitchen instruments or doing anything about your day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like 
and leave me a comment about like what's the worst injury you've ever had while cooking or how clumsy you are because that's more well, kind of ties into you too can you trip over air like I can can you trip over the floor like I can I'm really good at that I'm don't have very good balance and I'm very clumsy but anyway so please like comment and please subscribe I'm trying to get into the hang of maybe doing daily vlogs I'm not 100% sure yet um I try to come out with new videos every Thursday so I really do hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time bye